Welcome back. All right, so news of the day for all you fine people on the internet for your Thursday, July the 6th. Uh, of course, things are slowing down a little bit because, as I've been, been mentioning in recent days, yeah, a lot of teams are right at the cap already. So we have some big trades that we know teams want to make. There's some big names out there. It, it just feels like we're already in a, in a cap situation where it can't. But we'll see if that changes in the coming weeks. So the Ottawa Senators, I did a video on them this morning. They immediately signed a player to change that depth chart that I put up earlier. So Zach McEwen is now a member of the Ottawa Senators. It's a three-year deal. It pays him league minimum of $775,000 for all three seasons. Uh, so McEwen gets some, definitely gets some security with a three-year contract, which is great. And that, that depth presence, solid. Really, really solid. So we'll see how McEwen does in Ottawa. But again, a very young team adds a somewhat experienced forward. And McEwen's experience should help. Uh, Philip Zadina, as expected, he's on waivers for termination. Again, he could fight this. Uh, he could fight this, and he's losing millions of dollars with this contract termination. He's betting on himself. So there are teams that are apparently interested in his services, and we'll see what happens with Zadina from here. But he might be a good third-line option for a team uh, where, again, I think what's hurt him is the expectations because of where he was drafted and that he was drafted right before Quinn Hughes. So with Zadina being in a new environment where he doesn't really have to worry about the fact he was a first liner, he just has to go out and play his game. I think that could help him. So we'll see where he ends up. Might he end up with the Islanders? The Islanders have also placed Andy Andreoff on waivers in order to terminate his contract. So Andreoff's on his way out of the New York Islanders organization. Uh, the Islanders are an interesting team to watch. It doesn't look like there's gonna be any earth shattering changes with the team in the off season. Uh, fans, I think, and, and some media have been generating rumors on what might happen and could happen, but really, in general, it sounds like the Islanders are pretty quiet. And, uh, yeah, uh, Andreoff uh, being out of the organization is just a, a small change, but you got to keep in mind there are teams that are near that 50 contract cap limit, so don't be surprised if you see other players being bought out because of the 50 contract cap limit. I'm using that as an example. Uh, Andrew Crystal has signed his entry-level contract with Washington. Now, normally with entry-level contracts, I report on first-rounders. The second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh-round picks, I don't really worry about because there's a ton of them. There's all kinds of players getting signed some of the time. So uh, the reason with Crystal is simple. He was projected to go in the first round and dropped into the second. Washington has signed him already. So we'll see where he plays. We'll see what happens with him. The Capitals were very ecstatic to be able to get him in the second round. And so it's possible he at least gets maybe a nine-game tryout this year. And they give him those nine games in the NHL, see what he can do. Uh, the Capitals definitely need an infusion of youth. I talked with them a couple days ago. And you can see that lineup, a lot of aging pieces of that roster. And so adding Crystal, if he ends up being a steal, that could be a huge difference maker for this team in the upcoming season as well as others after that. Uh, Alexi Lafreniere and Keandre Miller, both restricted free agents for the New York Rangers. But the Rangers only have $6,175,417 in cap space. Now, that being said, they also apparently are the team that Tarasenko would like to return to. So I don't see any room for Tarasenko on top of the fact that they have to re-sign these two without a trade. So there's a lot of talk about, you know, would Barkley Goudreau get traded? Uh, who else might get traded out of New York? We'll see. But if they want Tarasenko, uh, they're, they're going to have to get creative with their salary cap situation. The New York Rangers are in an interesting position. They were a Final Four team in 2022. They had a setback this year in the playoffs, but they still look like a playoff team that could be dangerous and a contender in coming years. And so if you manage this right, and if Tarasenko is part of the answer... Who knows? Uh, we'll see. Uh, so getting back to the women's league that's being formed, and we're not sure what it's going to be called, what the teams in, in, the, in the league are going to be, if they're going to keep all the same names and all of everything in place. But Mark Walter is the financial backer of this. It's his money that's going into it. He's worth, he's worth $5.3 billion. So $5.3 billion, that's, that's a lot of money, last time I checked. Uh, and if you're going to have the women's league actually work, you're going to have to have somebody with deep pockets behind the league. The other interesting thing is that they've already had conversations with the National Hockey League. The NHL was clear that 
uh, they would not have any negotiations in terms of a partnership with the Women's League until there was one. Now there is one, so that those negotiations can happen. Uh, the other interesting part is the NHL owns the name WNHL, which would be Women's National Hockey League. All right? So it's possible they would like to use that name. They would like to tie in with the NHL. I can't see Mark Walter, who also you know has association with the LA Dodgers. I, I can't see the can't see money like that being behind it without a plan. So we'll see how it works. We'll see where those teams are located. Apparently, it's three teams in Canada, three teams in the U.S. would be the plan. And so, yeah, uh, a lot of uncertainty out there when it comes to the women's game right now. When you've got a guy with five point three billion dollars backing it, and it's going to be a short season, it's going to be limited travel. I think it can work. But we'll find out soon enough. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.